please let this screencast serve as a way to quickly uh, create a Google form and um, go ahead and send this form to participants that you would like to have uh, fill this form out and collect your responses in the Google spreadsheet. First thing, once you're logged into your Google account, you would want to click on Create New Form. At this point, a blank form will populate on your screen, and what you'll need to do is just pretty much fill the form out. Here, you'll give uh, the, the form a name. This would be your survey uh, survey name. So I'm just going to call this uh, test survey. Test survey. I can include text here about the actual survey itself, um, and then it's pretty much ready for me to enter the question title. Uh, so question title number one. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I name this. Um, as, as one to, to notate question one here um, in the within the forms here Google does not actually populate you know question one um, is assigned question one if that makes sense so basically whatever's in slot one you want to make sure you put question one so I'm just gonna do something very generic what is your name uh, and uh, help text I'm gonna say um, please use first name first name last name a question type will be a text response and I can make this required so I'm gonna click make this required so I make sure I know I'm gonna click done that questions inserted into the into the survey very easy uh, sample question two I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this so I can edit this question I'm gonna call it two and what is your favorite color and I'm actually going to make this question a different type so you can see due to, uh, there's multiple formats to the question instead of text I'm going to choose uh, multiple choice and I'm just going to say where it says option one right here I'm going to make sure I'm just going to say blue red and green and I'm going to give a slot for other actually so right here where it says add other I can click add other other excuse me and it will actually uh, leave for me the spot uh, for other I'm going to make that required and we're going to click done. My survey is pretty much done and ready to be sent to the world, to uh, people via email, um, so on and so forth. So I'm going to click save. And when I'm done there, um, what I'm going to do, you can see right here it says email this form. And you can do that very easily by doing it by doing this and just entering information. Or if you have something like Outlook and you have a bunch of contacts already saved within Outlook, we can do it another way as well. I'm going to go ahead and close the form. I'm just going to refresh my, my screen here. And you can see there's the survey right there. It says test survey. Okay, that's actually, those are actually the responses that will be collected. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on test survey. So you can kind of see what the spreadsheet looks like. This will be what you look at when the responses come in. So it's going to give you a timestamp. Here's my question number one. Here's my question two. So right now, this is what we see on our end, on the back end, whenever information is coming into us. But the question becomes, how do I get that survey sent to all the people I want to fill it out? Well, you do it quite simply, actually. You go to Form. Once you have the, t the survey open, the spreadsheet open, you click on Form. And you click Go to Live Form right here. So what this does, is it's going to open up a new browser window. It's actually going to give me the, the survey I just created. What you want to do is you want to highlight the URL of that survey copy it so I'm gonna right click and copy and you pretty much just need to paste that URL into an email so here's uh, I just open up a quick email here's the URL notice it's quite long so depending upon your email client it all, it all depends um, on how wide your screen is sometimes that URL will get broken and uh, when users go to click on it it will be a broken link um, so I'm gonna have a recommendation here for you is to use a URL shortener there's a lot out there people use for Twitter um, things of that nature I'm just gonna use one um, that's pretty popular called tinyurl.com okay so just to recap very quickly Here's the survey itself. Right click, copy the URL. I went to tinyurl.com. So it's very, very, very intuitive. It says enter a long URL to make tiny. So I'm going to click and I'm going to right click and then paste that long URL. All right, now all I need to do is click make tiny URL and it'll automatically will shorten it for me. You also can have a custom alias, meaning it could be tinyurl.com backslash survey or backslash something else so I'll do that I'll call um I'm actually actually I'll just create make tiny URL so it's gonna generate a URL for me and you can see right now here's the URL I took that really long URL right here of that Google uh, the Google form and it now put it into tinyurl.com backslash 
I'm sorry, front slash YEFDB43. So I'm going to click open in a new window. And you can see right there, it even though it looks like it's going to some random tiny URL, it actually does open up the Google form. So it's good to go. It's active. I'm just going to highlight this tiny URL now. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my email. And I'm going to right click and paste that URL. Now it comes in a different font, so you can go ahead and you know highlight and obviously change the font as you wish, um, whatever you'd like to do. But when users go to click on this tiny URL, it will actually activate the uh, Google URL as well. So you can do whatever you like. It all depends on your email client. But some of them, um, when they go, when it goes pretty long as far as the URLs go, they get broke, and the uh, URLs will not work for the user on the on the end. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to cl uh, click and start typing away as far as the people I want to send this to. And I can obviously compose my, the body of my message as well. Click send. Now when the user clicks this link, they'll be automatically directed, as you can see here, to the Google form and they fill it out, they click submit, all of the results remember, remember will coming back into this right here. So I'll, I'll do it real fast for you. What is your name? I'm just going to say Bob Smith. My favorite color is blue and I'm going to click submit and I'll show you real fast what it looks like. Here it is. Here's all the information that came in automatically right away and uh, you now have created a Google form, a Google survey if you will, um, very quickly. You don't need to know any database uh, work whatsoever and uh, all the information comes right to you in your Google Docs. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Enjoy the screencast. Take care.